guys, happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday, so we're here together cooking. Well, you might not be cooking yet. I'm cooking, you're watching. You might come back later and cook with me. Anyway, this is a series where I help you out with hopefully some inspiration for your weeknight dinner. And tonight I thought we'd go kind of a little old school, but make it new again. <laughs> We've got a few cheats here. We're gonna use some store-bought char, um, char seal sauce. Uh, I like to do the pork steaks rather than doing a full baked like, you know, char seal pork because it's just a bit easier for a weeknight. I'm gonna be using, um, sometimes they're called like pork scotch fillet. I kinda like these because they're, they're a bit thick. It's almost like, you know, I wanna have like sort of charry, sticky, pork that I'm then going to slice up and put in my pork bowl at the end. I'm going to get those in there and I've got some char seal sauce here. Char seal is basically, you know, Cantonese barbecue, well it's called barbecue, barbecue sauce. It is savory and sweet and sticky and it's the sauce that you would have tried if you've tried Chinese barbecue pork. So that's the one, but you could kind of mix it up here with whatever kind of nice sticky sweet sauce your family loves. You could do a teriyaki here. That would be great, I think. Um, but we're going with char seal today. So just give that a bit of a mix around. And you know what? Like I love a store-bought, you know, <laughs> cheap wherever I can, when it makes sense and when, when it tastes good. So I'm definitely not a food snob, as you guys would know. So that's our pork. We'll just leave that for a minute. For the rice, we're gonna go with a fried rice. Now, we found some really yummy um, Chinese garlic chives at our local market this morning. So I'm using these, but feel free to use spring onion if you don't have these. They have a really lovely, mildly garlic kind of flavor to them, sort of like, so kind of what it sounds like, a little bit chivey, a little bit garlicky. I really love them when I can find them. And I think a really natural pairing with Chinese garlic chives is egg. Um, my mum actually makes this really amazing like garlic chive egg and pork soup when I'm sick. So I really love those flavors together. So we're gonna do like an egg and garlic chive fried rice. I am going to doctor it up with some greens though, because I am always trying during the week to eat a little bit more virtuously than I do on the weekends. Okay, I'm just doing some extra garlic here. For me, standard sort of fried rice business is garlic, onion, and egg. So we're gonna go with that. Now, if anyone has made any of my Make It Wednesday recipes, I'd love to hear all about it. I'd love to see, or I'd love to hear your feedback, see any pictures you might have. Please do post them and let me know. We also now have um, a review function on my website. So if you wanted to head to my website, leave some reviews, let me know. I do love your feedback though, because it means that I can better serve you guys. So please do let me know. All right, got some onion here as well. I'm gonna get my pan heating up for my pork steaks while I'm doing this. It's kind of like a time management thing. Whenever I am cooking during the week, I'm home from work, I'm kind of thinking, okay, what's gonna take the longest? What can I prepare while I'm cooking something else? So that's really what gives you the leg up, I think, during the week. It's just taking time to think a little bit um, about that, which is why I really love these Make It Wednesdays because I'm trying to cook here as closely as possible to how I would cook at home. All right. Onion, always for me in a fried rice. It's just, you know what, it's an, it's an Asian thing. My Thai mom cuts her onion in wedges for fried rice. I grew up eating it like that. So for me, fried rice has wedges of onion. If you prefer yours diced, please go ahead. Okay, bits and pieces here, pan heating up. I'm gonna go in with some Asian greens. I was gonna steam these separately, but then I thought, you know what, let's just stir fry it all together and that way we're just using two pans. Um, that's the other thing with Wednesdays, is no one wants to be doing the dishes on Wednesday. All right, I've got some gai lan and some bok choy here. You could do a mix of, you could do whatever you like. Baby spinach is always great for fried rice during the week. And just any of the larger pieces of the um, Chinese broccoli or the gai lan, just make sure you kind of slice those a little bit thinner so that they cook at the same time. All right, looking pretty good here. Pan is nice and hot. Go in with a little bit of oil. Pork steak. Now I want to make sure I get a nice sticky kind of char on these. 
Uh, and also, I don't want to cook it um, for too long. Obviously, pork will dry out if you cook it for too long. So I kind of need to keep an eye on the temperature there, make sure things are happening nicely. I just need to mix up my eggs for my fried rice. While I'm here, I may as well mix up my fried rice sauce. This is optional. I'm, I'm doing it mainly so I can kind of show you sort of the, the quantities of ingredients. But if you wanted to save on dishes, just sort of put it in when you're doing your, your fried rice. Okay, I want some soy sauce here, some Chelsea wine. This is totally optional. I'm going to do a little bit of sesame oil here as well. Just a little dash of sugar. This is actually something else my mum does as well. She always puts a dash of sugar into her fried rice um, sauce. Okay, this pork is looking really good here. Because we've got that kind of sweet marinade sauce, you are going to get a lovely char on your pork steak. I mean, look at that. Yeah, oh, that looks delicious already. You turn this down a little bit now. I've got colour, so now I just want to make sure that my pork cooks through. Also want to make sure I don't get translucent sauce splatter on myself. Okay, so I'm going to swap these over now. I'm going to pop this here and put this on a lower heat over here. Slightly lower heat. And I'm going to start my wok heating up for my fried rice, which I have everything ready for, which is very fun. The other thing with doing the greens in your fried rice is that no one can kind of pick it out. You know, it's harder to pick out the greens from the rice. If you have the steamed vegetable on the side, it's very easy for people at the dinner table to not eat the greens, you know what I mean? Now, make sure you are just keeping an eye on that pork. You kind of flip it around a little bit as it cooks so that it's getting a nice kind of glaze on it. All right, wok is smoking hot, which is great. A little bit of oil. I'm gonna go in with my onion. I love that smell, you know, the second the onion hits that hot oil, it's like, oh, we are cooking, you know what I mean? <laughs> Guys, please do tell me where you're watching from, what are you doing? It is currently morning time here in Queensland, Australia, um, so it's coffee time for me, but is it cocktail hour for you? Is it red wine hour for you? You let me know. Garlic. Press down on these pork steaks here and yeah, a little bit longer. Okay, I'm going to go in with the stem parts of my greens here. So because I'm using Chinese broccoli, it does have quite a firm stem, so I want to pop that in first. Okay, press that around. Then turn my pork over. So I'm going to go in with my egg here. Just move everything to the side. A little bit more oil on the side here. You can do your omelette separately by all means, trying to save on time and washing up and all those things. Okay, spread that egg out. Fried rice night is always a good night for me. I'm always into fried rice, my kids are always into fried rice, so I love it. And once you kind of get into the swing of things, you know you're going to have a fried rice night. So whenever I'm making rice, like I'll make a Thai curry the night before, I know I'm going to make fried rice the next day, so I just make extra rice. It all kind of feeds into each other. Um, you know, kind of have an idea about what you're doing. All right, in go the leaves. I love how green and lovely and colourful this looks. I'm already feeling more virtuous. Garlic chives do benefit from just a little bit of heat, so I'm going to toss those in there. Mm. Okay, rice and my fried rice sauce. Yeah, look at that. Toss all of that together until you have every grain of rice just beautifully coated in that sauce. Okay. I want just a little bit of pepper here as well. Mm. Yum. And yeah, not so traditional to throw in a whole bunch of greens into your fried rice, but you know what? It does the job. Let me just check the seasoning. You always just want to give your fried rice a check, make sure it doesn't need any extra soy sauce. Mmm, perfect. 
just the right amount of saltiness. Because you've always got to be careful with your fried rice. If anything, leave out some of the sauce if you're not so sure, because if you get soggy fried rice, not much you can do about it. So leave off, you know, adding too much at the start. But that's really perfect. I'm actually gonna slice up my pork steaks, which have been resting here while I've been finishing off that fried rice. Let's just take these. Okay, let's slice up our pork steaks here. Ah, oh, that's just perfect through there. It's just cooked through, still looks nice and juicy. And the great thing about that pork, um, or this pork scotch cut, is that you've got a lovely few little, you know, sort of rivers of fat and juiciness that run through it, unlike your pork loin, which is just, you know, um, a little bit drier. But there you go. You can see how juicy that is through there. Oh, that's, that's literally making my mouth water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's make up our bowl. Okay, so we have our rice. And I think also, you know, it's a great way to um, put together quite a budget-friendly meal as well. You're not having to do expensive pieces of steak, but you're still getting that really lovely kind of steak-ish vibe, if you like. Nice big juicy slices of meat, plus your beautiful greens. Okay, let's go with our pork on the top here. Now I'm being a little bit greedy here. Yeah, I do think that you could uh, make those pork steaks go a little further on the servings, but you know, we're doing giant sized portions today because I feel like it. Uh, let's have a look at some of these pan juices, which we absolutely do not want to waste. Okay, let's drizzle that over the top. Let's make it a little bit fancy with some spring in here. And there you go, friends. Oh. That looks so yum. I am so into this. Um, this is our sticky char siu pork rice bowl. Oh, it get much better. I don't think so. I'm gonna get in here and try it. <laughs> Let's see how juicy this pork is. Oh yeah. Mmm. It's so lovely and tender. And I love that that sweet marinade gives you that really lovely char on the outside. Mmm, so good. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for another Make It Wednesday. I love doing these shows with you guys because I get to chat to you while we're watching the show together. And I hope you do find the recipes useful. I mean, I certainly find them useful. I've been cooking them myself. So um, yeah, let me know how your Wednesdays are going and please um, join me next week. See you later, guys. Bye. Mm. Yum. Hey guys, if you want to know whenever I'm releasing something new and delicious, then you should hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that I can let you know every time something new is coming out. Thanks, see you!